Right, Preston. That suspect is currently only facing five assault charges, but we are expecting more charges to be filed. There are a lot of moving parts here, multiple witnesses and victims to speak with, multiple scenes, um, as well as a lot of evidence to go through in this case. And on top of that, this case does span two different counties. Cross your legs. Do not move. 44-year-old Eric Perkins now facing multiple charges for assault with a deadly weapon related to at least eight shootings on I-5 and in the city of Bothell that left six people injured. There's certainly the possibility that we, we add additional charges. You know, right now we've got them held on, on those five with the firearm enhancements and the million dollar bail. But this is an investigation that, that's far from over. Two victims were hospitalized with gunshot wounds to the torso and to the neck. Three others had non-life-threatening injuries to their legs, and one woman was hit in the eye with broken glass from the gunfire. As investigators develop more evidence, Perkins could see more charges. An assault charge, you don't have to be hit by a bullet. You can be shot at, and that's a felony assault. Uh, the, the key is the evidence that we can prove beyond a reasonable doubt in, in each of those cases. Uh, but what we have, we want to get in front of the court right away. According to court documents, Perkins told investigators he borrowed a Glock 40 handgun from a friend because he believed people were stealing his identity, making threats, and following him. And the threats made him fear for his life. Court records indicate Perkins believed he was being followed while driving and people were trying to run him off the road. The Washington State Patrol says the shootings were likely random. There's absolutely no reason to suggest these were anything but innocent people driving down the road trying to get from point A to point B and for whatever reason um, came became the victims of this unwarranted, unprovoked um, attack. And according to King County prosecutors, Perkins does not have any known criminal history in Washington state. He's currently being held on $1 million bail, and he's expected back in court on September 19th, where he's expected to enter a plea. Reporting live in King County, Lynn Ann Wynn, Como News.